Hi, I'm Melissa, your Free Range Psychic. Today is February the 28th, 2021. Last day of February and tomorrow is the first day of March. So I guess either it's going to come in like a lion and go out like a lamb or come in like a lamb and go out like a lion. We'll see what happens according to the old saying. My guides wanted me to do a past life reading today on Louis DeJoy. And they uh, have um, uh, guided me to the possibility that he is reincarnation of Theodore Icke. Theodore Icke, uh, he was a member of the SS who had a very much like DeJoy, a, a worship of his leader, uh, you know, for Theodore Icke, Hitler, for DeJoy, Trump, and a dedication, a fanatical dedication to, to Hitler's agenda. So Hitler's agenda is uh, bringing in the supremacy of the Third Reich and the white race, the Aryan race, at the expense of, or even to the annihilation of uh, whoever is not Aryan or was not Aryan at that time. And when you, we look at Trump and Trump's adherents, like the you know CPAC, and at the end of uh, the very last picture in the, uh, my, or one of the very last pictures in my intro was that Nordic rune symbol that was on the uh, na lapels of Nazis and and the CPAC stage is designed in that ru ruin. So you see the overlap there very much so of the Nazis and the, and the Trump Trumpers. And of course, you know, the white supremacists involved in bringing down the, bringing on the uh, attack or assault on the Capitol. Ike he was the second commandant of Dachau. And I, I believe that when he was put in that position, he found his life's vocation because he ended up being put in charge of all of the concentration camps, their design, uh, their organization, all the rules, you know, all, all the, how, how everything uh, was run. He was the one who actually designed the prisoners, uh, what they wore, their uniforms, uh, which were uh, white and blue striped pajama type uh, clothing. Uh, Dachau initially uh, was a, a prison camp for communists but then became uh, a, a, a prison camp for Jews and other minorities. And DeJoy, <laughs> DeJoy was, a, a, and I'm sure still is, a longtime donor to the Republican Party, and he's had a lot of scandal. Uh, I think one was requiring his employees to donate to the Republican Party, actually laundering his own donations through them. DeJoy is the first postmaster in two decades without prior experience in the United States Postal Service. Upon assuming office on June 16, 2020, he began taking measures such as banning overtime and extra trips to deliver mail to reduce costs. And he, he has destroyed the post office. He's destro destroyed the uh, uh, sorting machines and the, it, uh, before election, we know that he <laughs> had post office boxes taken away, and God knows really what happened to a lot of mail in ballots. I think we'll find out over time how many went missing during that time. It was sabotage, and he was happy to do it. I heard a statistic where before he was post um, master general, uh, uh, something like over 90% of uh, mailed during the, uh, the last uh, like Christmas holiday, got there on time. Uh, this time around, it was like 38%. He, he was recently uh, uh, questioned uh, by the House Oversight Committee, and he had seemed to have no remorse. <laughs> 
Absolutely none. I think he, he might have apologized for the slowing of the mail, but uh, obviously he's there to continue destroying the post office. And that is a long time Republican dream to privatize the post office and just you know parse it out to you know private companies. That's what they want to do with everything. That's the Trumpian way and that's the neo-libertarian way. Destroy the, the government and uh, you know let your friends take over. Make it an oligarchy for sure. Well, I'm going to be doing a tarot reading uh, on their lives. So um, when I do a past life reading uh, with with the tarot cards, it's how the past went and how it kind of ended for the prior incarnation. And then, you know, what's going on with the uh, present alleged incarnation and how their lives kind of intertwine. So the subject card the devil. This is Theodore Icke, who is absolutely the devil. Uh, he it was of pure evil intent, cruel, arrogant, vicious. And he wanted to bring in a reign of terror that would last a thousand years with the Thousand Year Reich. This is to joy, burning down the post office, complete narcissism and arrogance, also wanting to bring in a, a similar kind of rule. It's all the, of the same lineage here. Above is the king of swords, and this is complete arrogance. Thinking you're above uh, the, 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 the human fray, like a god, like a, you know, uh, a, a human god. So both DeJoy and Ike, this is their personality. And they can do whatever they want. They're beholding to nobody. In the past, so for Ike, this is Ike dying um, uh, on the attack. <laughs> The end of his life, you know, flying a a, a plane for for the for the um, Reich and being shot down for to joy. This, I believe, is him uh, being questioned in the House Oversight Committee. And when asked whether he would resign, he said, "I'm here for the long term. You better get used to it. I'm not going anywhere." Underneath. This is the Ten of Swords. So I, I believe this card for both of, of these men mean bringing on uh, this ruin on humanity, but in the end dying by the sword, dying by their own sword. So we'll, we'll see what happens with DeJoy. We know that Ike uh, went down in flames. I think that that is uh, the kind of karma that DeJoy is definitely uh, um, creating for himself. But really, uh, also, this is how he feels about humanity. Raining his swords down. In the future, though, <laughs> Five of Pentacles. For DeJoy, this means I think it means that he's going to be kicked off, uh, kicked out of the government. He's going to have to resign or he's going to be fired because of the crimes that he committed. And I think that for Ike, this means how we remember Ike, which is what he wrought on humanity and the suffering of the people in the concentration camps. And he's infamous for bringing on this, this terrible, terrible evil on, ma on humankind. Above is the tower. So this is Ike's involvement in World War II. And then also how he, how he dies. And this is DeJoy's involvement. I think it kind of hints at his involvement with the assault on the Capitol. He is a, 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 a huge donor. And I believe he was on the finance board of the Republican Party. He's 
uh, uh, totally committed to Trumpism. And, and, and at the very least, this means he's going to be one of the casualties of, of Trumpism because it's bringing everybody down. And you can bet he's at CPAC. Or, yeah, he's going to be at CPAC. Is, isn't uh, Trump going to speak today? The final card, outcome card, is death. This card, I keep on asking my guides about this card. This came up last time and the time before. This came up about Holly, about Cruz. And my, I, I, my guides say this is the end, the, the death of the Republican Party and the end of these people somehow. And I guess we're going to see how that plays out, huh? But death is, is still very much over uh, this, uh, this group of people. I'm going to try to do something more pleasant next week. This was an intense one, um, a very intense one for me to do. They all have been for Holly and for uh, for Cruz, Ike, oh my God. Um, but you can see the the facial features. Again, when I, when I do these readings, I'm not saying it's set in stone. This is just where my guides led me or where I think my guides led me. Um, and... And this what is what came out of it. I didn't necessarily think, oh, Detroit, Detroit was a Nazi for sure. Let me find out. That's not what happened. I just asked who he might have been, and, and, and that's where I was guided. So, you guys, I hope you're okay. It's, it's still rough, I think. Uh, but thank God Biden is president, and, uh, you know, Harris is our vice president, and, and they've only been in such a short time. So many things need to be done. We kind of knew this, didn't we? There's a huge amount of work that needed to be done, an overwhelming amount, an unthinkable amount, an unthinkable amount. And so we got to roll up our sleeves and get to it. We still need to be active, you know. We still need to be working uh, uh against uh you know fascism and 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 fighting the cause of our democracy that's just what we're here for but we do have an oracle card which i think is very uh, beautiful and will kind of uh give us another shift of focus so the the deck that i'm reading from is whispers of healing last week was whispers of love by the same person angela hartfield and josephine wall is the illustrator and the card that we got today is flow you see flow this card is about manifestation. It is wonderful to know that you can release your unhappiness. Please trust that you hold the power to be happy. Your healing is hinged on how you view your, view your world. If you feel unhappy or an unlucky, you may benefit from committing to a more positive attitude. You have fallen into a pattern of limited thinking that doesn't allow you to see your inner beauty. The card also suggests that you can often find yourself in situations that trigger past issues. Perhaps it's time for you to heal those issues. Be open to the messages and signs that continue to be part of your reality. Allow yourself to see your blessings. Trust that you are given the opportunity to grow and learn so you can release what doesn't work and call in what your true desires are. Flow. At this part in the reading, I remind people I am uh, still uh, happy to do personal readings and uh, read anything uh, from past life issues to anything in the present uh, to uh, anything in the future. And I uh, love to introduce you to your guardian angels. I'm also a medium. I left my contact information below in the description and also at the very end of today's special musical interlude. <laughs> I love you guys. 
please hang in there. Uh, give yourself time for self-care. I will be back next week. Bye-bye.